I'm gonna share with you some very important things that every YouTuber needs to know regardless of your channel size. And it's very important that you watch this entire video because it all applies to you. And we're starting right now. This is how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different. There's a lot of things that keep coming up, a lot of recurring questions, a lot of things that a lot of YouTubers are wanting to know that they can't find answers to. A lot of things that YouTubers are trying to figure out with their own channels as far as what's right, what's wrong, what works, what doesn't work, and things like that. So I'm just going to have that conversation with you now. First thing we're going to talk about is ad revenue. There's a lot of people that come onto YouTube and they are wanting to do YouTube full time. And because of that, they say, how many subscribers do I need to have in order to get a full time income off of YouTube? But the truth is, it's not even based on how many subscribers you have. I mean, it kind of is because, you know, your subscribers actually feed views into your recent uploads and things like that, which gets your view velocity going, which gets YouTube to push you out more, which brings the views in. But at the end of the day, it comes down to how many views you got. That's where it really happens. And in addition to that, one thing that you really have to think about is it's not a subscriber count that brings that money, right? It's actually what you're doing to monetize. Some channels can actually generate a full-time income off of 10,000 subscribers. Other channels take 100 or 200 or 300,000 subscribers before they can actually generate that type of income. They can actually live off of it instead of just trying to skim by or mixing it with another side job or something like that. So the thing that is important that you keep in mind is that basically, you need to think of other things that you can do to monetize your content instead of just relying on ads because just relying on ads, especially if you're a new YouTuber, it's gonna be a very long road for you before you can actually turn YouTube into a full-time job or something that's even generating any amount of income really because ads are a very slow road to walk, so to speak. Another thing that is extremely important that keeps coming up is the actual growth rate of a channel. People are asking me, hey Nick, why is this particular competitor doing a lot better than me, but I'm doing this and we're uploading the same type of content? There are a lot of factors on YouTube that have an impact on your channel growth. Those factors are things like audience retention, of course, because you know YouTube gauge, judges us on our watch time. Um, it is how often people are clicking on your thumbnails when they're suggested in a sidebar or on their homepage. That's why I stress the importance of making sure that your thumbnail game is on point because if your thumbnails are not generating clicks, if your titles are not generating clicks, then you are doing yourself a massive disservice and you have to figure out a way to turn that around. Even if it requires something like, um, you know, hiring somebody on fiverr.com or another service to actually do thumbnails for you, it's extremely important to make sure that your thumbnails are on point so that you can get those clicks. But in addition to that, you know, you, you have your audience retention, you have um, if you're generating clicks or not, you have if you're taking people deeper into the platform, if people are binge watching your content, if they are clicking on your channel name and then further subscribing to your channel from there, you know, all of these different things basically add up to a, all these little pieces basically add up to a larger pie that is all encompassing for growing your YouTube channel. So it's not just one thing that this particular channel is doing that you might not be doing. It's actually a bunch of different factors involved. And, you know, there's also the personality side. You know, like some people connect with, with you know, like this type of personality and they don't connect with this type of personality, right? So, I mean, of course you wanna be yourself and you wanna put yourself out there, but some people, you know, I mean, just speaking honestly about it, some people just have an advantage of personality over other people. And sometimes, you know, you can develop that. Other times, you know, you just get kind of stuck in that, well, I'm just gonna be me thing. And because of that, you know, sometimes, you know, that can, that can hurt um, the growth that you have here on YouTube. In addition to that, when it comes to other people in your niche and, you know, they're uploading content and they're getting result A and you're uploading content and you're getting result B, the other things that you have to keep in mind is you don't know where they're getting their traffic from. You don't know if their video has been shared on a website. You don't know if their, their videos have been shared on popular vlogs. You don't know if they've done collaborations with other people that are sending them traffic. You don't know if they have an email list, if they're doing any other type of marketing off of YouTube. There's just so many different factors at play. They might have a big Twitter following they're sending from, a big Instagram following, maybe Snapchat, you know, something like that that they're sending people in to where you don't see them that. 
because on YouTube, all you see is, well, hey, they're just using these weird titles. They're not even trying to rank their videos and they're still getting all of this traffic. There's just so many factors at play that you can't look at a competitor and say, why are they making it and I'm not? Or why are they growing faster and I'm not? Because there's so many different things involved. And some of those things you might not even know about. And another thing that is extremely important that um, also keeps coming up time and time again is the importance of your actual channel page and the importance of actually making sure that your your channel is subscribable, right? Because we all have this thing to where we think, okay, well, my channel looks fantastic because I made it all, right? So our egos are like, you know, hey, everything looks great, but it's really important that you look at your channel page objectively and you say, okay, if I were to land on my channel page, just at a glance, is it clear what it is that I'm doing on my channel? Is it clear the type of content that I'm making? Is it clear the value that I'm offering to the viewers? And is everything easy to understand? Is everything easy to read? Am I taking the guesswork out of what's going on on my channel? Does my channel look like a channel that somebody actually puts effort into? Or does it look like a channel that that I don't care about. It's really important that you that you look at your stuff objectively that way so that you can really analyze what's going on from that point of view on your channel because most of the subscribers that you're gonna get are gonna be on your channel page. And on my Saturday streams, when I do my surface level channel reviews, one of the biggest things that I keep repeating over and over again is the importance of that channel page layout because that's where a majority of your subscribers come from. Think of this for a second. More people subscribe to your channel from your channel page than all of your videos combined. That's massive. If you think about that, you know, if you have a library of 100 videos, 200 videos, and then you go to your, your analytics and you look on your channel page and you see how many people are subscribing there versus your video library, it's mind blowing. And because of that, that's why it is so important that your, your storefront, your channel page, looks as good as possible and it's extremely, easy to understand what it is that you're offering people. It's more important to think about the viewer than it is to think about yourself in terms of how things are coming across. Like, you know, think of the value that you're gonna add to your viewer and put that as the biggest part of the text on your, on your channel art instead of just putting a big logo. A big logo equals, hey, look at me, and the value side says, hey, this is what I'm gonna do for you, or this is the value that I'm gonna provide to you extremely, extremely important to keep that in mind. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.